Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've been deep conditioning my scalp and my ends with this Cali Min products. These Cali Min products, I should say. So this is the Cali Min Clean Cream and it's a leave-in conditioner. And then this is the Cali Min Rescue Oil, which if you can see, I have used almost a lot of it. I actually received this as PR last year this time and I still have a little bit to go in the bottle. I've already been sent a replacement. Honestly, this stuff is so good and you have seen me feature it in so many videos now. So I'm going to show you how I've been doing my deep conditioning treatment and then I will come back and talk to you about these products. So usually I will start this process from when my hair is dry and needs to be washed and I will take a comb and I will section my hair and I will just kind of rough up my scalp. I get a very bad dry scalp so I find if I don't do this a couple times a week I just end up getting the most insane dry scalp lakes and it's just not a cute look. So I go in and do that first and then I go and I wash my hair with this Nashi Argan shampoo and conditioner. You will have heard me rave about Nashi Argan products time and time again on this channel and today is going to be nothing different. Now I section my freshly washed hair and then I will put the Cali Min oil on my scalp. This is actually a scalp treatment oil. I believe it can be used on the ends of your hair as well but I personally just use it on my scalp. I try to use my Manta brush whenever I can just because I do find that it does reduce the breakage of my hair. Because my hair is fine, it does break quite easy, so I try to be as gentle with it as possible. And now that I've, I've used this oil all on the surface area of my hair, I'll just give myself a light massage on my scalp and then I will go in with this leave-in conditioner. I use this leave-in conditioner quite generously. I don't use this leave-in conditioner a lot, perhaps once a week, once every two weeks, but when I do use it, I want to make sure that my hair is coated evenly and generously. Once it's worked through my hair, I then use my Manta brush to put my hair in a bun and then I put on my heated cap. I think if you have a parent from the Caribbean or Africa, you definitely have seen a hat like this before because when I was young, my mom used to give me hot oil treatments all the time and I've basically just taken that technique and have applied it with these products. So if you don't have these products, you can totally try this technique out with olive oil or coconut oil and even just use a plastic bag to keep the heat in from your head. That will essentially do the same thing. However, I love using a heated cap like this because it does penetrate the hair strands even more. So as you can see, I just basically suction out my scalp I first rough up my scalp and oh my gosh, my dry scalp is out of control. So I like to take a comb, rough up my scalp and then put in this oil. And then I like putting this clean cream leave-in conditioner through the ends. When I take that cap off, my hair literally feels like butter. It feels so good. And if you are not used to putting some type of heat on your hair um, to get your deep conditioning treatments to really sink in, the reason for that is is that when you have heat on your hair, the basically like the outer shell of your hair strands, they open up just a slight bit and then that product is able to penetrate inside of the hair strand and then you're really able to get those products in. That's why uh, when you go to the hair salon and you get your hair colored when they put a bag on your head or they put you underneath the dryer that is basically what they're doing it's not necessary to use a heated cap like this but it does help if you don't have a heated cap you can just put any plastic bag on your head and your head actually puts off heat and then you'll notice that the plastic bag that you put on your head actually will start to steam up so you don't need a heated cap the way that I have a heated cap but it does feel nice and it does help anyways my friends if you have not tried out the Cali Min products honestly they are so good the Cali Min clean cream is new to me and it's formulated with plants fruit and seed oils and honestly it's really nice I find it is quite heavy for my hair but I do have fine hair and almost anything makes it too heavy and the same thing with this rescue oil it does make my hair quite heavy so I usually just put this in the night before I'm going to 
just be working at home. Uh, so for example, if I know I'm just going to be sat at the computer all day, I will put this in the night before, do my little treatment, and then let it sit in my hair even for the following day. And my hair has benefited so much from this. The other thing that my hair has benefited from is that Nashi Argan shampoo and conditioner. I have said it so many times on this channel. That shampoo and conditioner is my favorite. Nashi is an Italian hair care brand and the Italians do everything well. <laughs> and I've been using it for about two years now, but it is very hard for me to get here in the UK. So I use it so sparingly. So I typically just use it when I'm going to be using these two products together because I find that they work really well with one another. And then I use my other shampoos and conditioners on the days where I'm not doing this deep conditioning treatment. If you have fine hair like myself, you will know that it is often a challenge to get it to grow to a decent length. And my hair is finally getting I think it's really long. I mean, it's it's starting to touch like it's almost at my bra strap at the back and I've never had it this long. So if you have hair like that, you probably appreciate where I'm coming from with this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, my friend, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.